everyone. My name is Simeon Grace. This is Carrie's Creations Fashion Tutorial. Today we'll be doing a peplum top with Princess that. The materials you'll be needing are your pin, your chalk, your scissors, your tape rule, and your fabric. Now let's do our calculation. As we all know, we are adding 8 inches to the bust, band, and the waist measurements. So the bust now is 40, and the band measurements, 34, the waist measurements, 36. Now, we are going to divide each by 4 inches. 40 divided by 4, we have 10. 34 divided by 4, we have 8.5. Then 36 divided by 4, we have 9. Now, let's move to the cutting. So we are folding our material with the highest measurement, which is 10. We need 10. Now, we take the measurements one after the other. The length, which is the first thing. We have the half length, which is 12. So we are going to measure out the half length, which is 12 inches. We'll take the length this way. This is 12. And don't forget to add your sewing allowance. So this is 13. The nice thing now is the shoulder. The shoulder measurement is 14. And we are dividing by 2, which is 7. Don't forget to add your sewing allowance also. We measure the shoulder measurement this way. This is seven. Your sewing allowance. Or we adding half inch to it. That is 7.5. This is our shoulder measurement. This is our half length. Now the next thing on our list is the bust measurement. How do you get the bust measurement? You measure down 8.5 inches. 8.5 inches. Then you take your bust measurement from there. And from our calculation, our bust is 32, which is our real measurement. We added 8 inches to it and we have 40. Divided by 4, we have 10. So our bust now is 10. The band measurement, the band is 26. Our real measurement is 26. We added 8 inches to it and we have 34. Divided by 4, we have 8.5. Then we measure out our 8.5. Now, note one thing. This cutting is going to be the half length is 12 inches, so it is going to be below the bust. The half length is 12, where we have our band. So we are going to make use of the waist measurement. The waist measurement is 28. We added 8 inches to it, we have 36, divided by 4, 9. So we have to measure 9 inches. Now let's join the shapes together. We have the shoulder bringing it down to the bust to have to get the arm O. Now from the bust to the band and from the band to the waist. Now let's cut. We have this. Now, this is going to represent the front. We are placing this to cut out the back. Whatever we have here is what we are going to cut out. The only thing needed here is our zip allowance.
Now, my zip allowance is one inch. Good. So I'm cutting it out. This is the front and this is the back. Don't forget, the back has one inch allowance for the zip. So which means we are dividing the back into two. Now, let's move to the next stage. We want to cut out the neck of our material. You can always decide what you want for the neck. You can make it a round neck. You can make it a V neck. You can make it a cano neck or a square neck. You can always decide that yourself. But what I want here is a cano neck. The wideness of the neck now. You can always decide how wide you want the neck of your material or your style to look like. If you decide to use 6 inches, this is how wide it will look. If you want it to be 7 inches, can make it 8 inches, can make it 9 inches. You can always decide the wideness. So for the wideness, I want it to be 9 inches. That means I'll be cutting out 4.5. 4.5 because my material is folded into two. If I measure out 4.5 and I open my fabric, then it means I'll have 9. That's the wideness of the neck. Now, now I want to measure 4.5. This is 4.5. For the deepness, you can as well decide what inches you want to use. You can make use of 3, 3.5, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But here, I'll be making use of 3.5. 3.5. So my wideness now, 4.5 by 3.5. I want a cano neck. So I'll bring out the shape of the neck this way. I want to cut it out. Now, note one thing. Wherever this, whatever wideness you're using for the front is the same thing, must be the same thing. For the back if you're using six inches for the wideness at the front definitely the wideness for the back also must be six inches so here we use nine inches folded into two we use 4.5 so the same thing is what i'm going to use for the back measurements don't forget we have one inch allowance for the back automatically which means we'll have 5.5 for the wideness better still just place your chalk on that same edge where you started your cutting then the deepness the deepness you can all as well you can as well determine that you can as well determine the deepness here i'll be using 8.5 for the deepness the same rules that applies to the front applies to the back you can give the back any shape you want i want it to be a u shape so i have 4.5 by 8.5 plus my one inch allowance for the zip makes it 5.5 by 8.5 This is 8.5 and this is 5.5. Now, bringing out the shape, bringing out the shape, I said I want it you. Then, 
I want to cut we have the front and we have the back back now we want to bring out the princess dance now to get the princess dance from the middle here, we measure 4 inches. From the middle, we measure 4 inches for our darts. This is 4. From the middle, this is 4. This is 4. Then, you curve it. From your shoulder, you measure 3.5. Now, this is not constant. It depends on what shape you want for your princess that. You can have a princess that, that goes this way. You can have it this way, depending on your choice. You can have a that that goes straight to the shoulder. But what I want here, from my measurement, 3.5 down. And I have my constant measurement for the dart, which is 4. So, I'll bring out the shape. Good. Now, we cut. Let's move to the next stage of our peplum dress. Oh. 